What's up guys, today I'm going to do a video on installing Plex Media Server on an Ubuntu server. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started right off the bat. Um, first thing that you guys want to do is pull up your um, server terminal, uh, whether it's through the app Putty, if you're on Mac, it could be um, a terminal, whatever, whatever you need to get on. So get your server pulled up on the one side of your screen and then um, go ahead and navigate to the Plex website. We're going to go hit up Downloads. And then we're going to do the computer, so Plex Media Server, computer. And then they have a Linux option, and we're going to grab that. And then Ubuntu right here. So if you um, are putting it on one of these servers, or maybe it's not actually a dedicated server like I have, um, you can select one of these. Uh, I'm doing Ubuntu today. I'm going to go and get the 64-bit. And so instead of actually downloading this onto my computer, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on it. I'm going to do Copy Link Location or Copy... Um, link, whatever whatever um, browser you're in, it might be a little different. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do wget o. Um, the o command is going to allow me to name it something a little bit easier. So we're going to call it plex.db. Okay. So plex.db. And then we're going to go ahead and paste. And for putty, you just can right click to paste. So boom. It's going to go ahead and download it and it's going to install it as, um, or not install it, sorry, download it and save it as plex.deb. We're going to let that download. All right, so that one had it downloaded. And just to go ahead and confirm that it's there, we're going to do a little ls. And we see that plex is right there, .deb. And so once you get this, um, it's pretty easy from here. Plex has made it super easy. Um, they do have an apt-get command to bring it in from a local repository but I really am not a big fan of that so I go ahead and I just stick with actually running the the D package command so you're gonna need sudo access here so we're gonna type in sudo and then it's gonna be D package dash I so the dash I command is for install and what you'll see for a lot of other tutorials is people have this long plex media underscore 3.1.2.3.4 or something crazy I like to make it easy on myself with that uh, dash o command we did during that wget, and it's just going to be called plex.deb here. So we're just going to go ahead and run this. Um, I already have it on my system, but I'm pretty sure this will be update for me. So I'll type in your um, sudo password, and it's going to go ahead and unpack everything and install it right onto your server for you. So, yep, so it was pretty quick. Um, it might have been because I had a lot of the files already in place, but as you can see, it did overwrite what I had so there's a newer version and just to confirm that you have this all set up um, we're going to do ahead and do sudo service and then status all and inside of this we're going to go ahead and we'll see this Plex Media server is actually in fact running okay um, I'm going to go ahead and bring up htop and you can see that it created its own Plex username and that it's um, running the Plex Media server underneath that so this automatically installs it to start right up with your system and you're already all set with your media server running. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my actual media server here. And you're just going to type in the IP of whatever your server is on your network and then port 32400 and then do slash and then just type in manage. Um, that's how I usually navigate to it easiest, just something like that. And it's automatically going to redirect you to the correct page. So here's some of the stuff I already have in my Plex server. Um, the next step for most of you guys who haven't actually um, messed with this before is going to be adding a library. So you're going to go ahead and click plus and then let's say we want to do movies and we're going to call it um, movie collection. Okay, And we're going to hit next. Um, this is where you're going to actually put the folder where your files are going to be contained. So I have this folder right here which is where my files are. Um, we're going to do like Plex right here, and so this is automatically just going to make the Plex folder where my movie files are going to be searched for, and this is also where it's going to update everything. So I'm going to and click Add Library. So whatever is in that folder, it's going to scan through it, and it's going to find all the movie files for the specific uh, folder. It's going to go ahead and import them. On um, this super nice, um, you, there's a little more fine grained settings you can do within this like tag here, so you can do advanced on where it gets its information from how it actually scans for things. Um, you can delete it from there if you need to. And then now you actually have a fully functioning Plex Media Server with media loaded onto it. Um, 
and you can go ahead and start streaming from a web browser, from an app. The only thing you're going to need to do outside of actually just being able to access this locally, if you want to get it on the go or outside of your home, you're going to want to make sure you port forward um, 32,400 on your firewall or your router to um, this particular server IP address. That'll allow you to get access to it. Um, also, you want to create an account with them. Mine's not signed in currently because I don't want it broadcasting the IP over their system. I just have the IP direct link for me to get to it. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, um, just let me know. I can do some more videos on going a little bit more into depth on this. Uh, any other videos regarding to Linux, just leave a comment. Um, thumbs up, rate, subscribe. Thanks, guys.